Hey, welcome back to Blend Sushi Live Noting. Today I'll be doing some improvisation using 3D text and animation nodes and geometry nodes. So basically scattering text. All right, scattering text. Um, in order to scatter text, uh, we probably need to convert convert it into mesh. Um, but I, I have a trick where you can use animation nodes and to separate each letter of the text. So that's kind of neat. So let's try, maybe I'll, make, I'll write like blend to the blend, actually this one, lowercase, I think that's, that's okay, okay, this is the whole text, it's like a 3D typography and we're gonna kind of turn it into an artwork, uh, let's do separate text object so this one is a very handy little node so this is our source let me save very quickly so this is typo art save the blend this is gonna be our source uh, we don't need the material for now you can use different material for each one of them um, maybe let's just assign it anyway just in case so animation, uh, animation nodes will be calculated on every frames unless we turn off always. Okay, so now let's uh, original is text. Uh, we want to turn it into mesh. Let's just update this. Once updated, the original text should be hidden and we end up with um, this text that you, you see. Uh, if you try to select it, you can't select it because because this thing is uh, turned off. The selection is turned off by animation nodes by default. So that's that's okay. Uh, we are done with this. We can actually just maybe just delete this. Any, uh, we don't need this anymore. Or we can keep it actually just in case we want to change it. So now we can go to geometry nodes, create a cube. Um, we can go to edit mode and delete the cube and now we go to geometry nodes and simply use our own cube or yeah we use this guy and we want to scatter it we want to scatter the text into this box so point distribute we have that now and then we can use instance we can use collection Collection animation nodes object container, but turn off whole collection. So it's gonna be using uh, the letter. Okay, so doesn't look like we have anything. There. Alright, so we have this artwork. So we can turn off this original text. Right, so this is actually like the, the first type of artwork, but I, I like to make like some kind of creature, abstract creature design. So in order to do that, normally um, I want to randomize this a little bit more and then maybe just use mirror. Uh, let's try doing that. So this is the cube cube art um, at some point we can also add some kind of thickness I think this is kind of neat <laughs> kind of like it we can use sphere that's maybe scale and then randomize maybe that will work just use icosphere right and then transform the icosphere maybe we can scale it later scale it in the z-axis so it's longer it's like an egg and we simply use with point distribute. Yeah, all right. Maybe this is too long. We can <clears throat> randomize this further. Attribute randomize positions vector add. That's 
pretty nice. Yes, now starting to get a little bit more abstract. And on top of this, we can attribute randomize as well, but rotations. The rotations this seems to be using different value. Okay. And we can randomize with the scale as well, but I, I can just leave it like this for now. Uh, I want to have the seed being randomized. So now, if you want, we can have this, or we can have this. So with this guy, this is like instance of all those letters, blend, blend, blend. And I will actually, I can use something like solidify. You see how, how fast it is? So that's why this is kind of interesting. And yeah. If you want to make like an abstract looking character, you don't actually need this much. Let's go back to geometry nodes. Let's reduce the number. Maybe we don't need to randomize there. Oh, I know. It's dependent on the point distribution. We don't actually need the point distribution. I'll just plug this in like that. It's the actual atmosphere. I just need to randomize uh, it says no attribute with name rotations. This is actually not very true if we use point rotate over here. Yeah, okay, we have a bit of control. This is actually maybe a good thing. So I can actually plug this like that. So we can control the seed. And you can control a little bit of rotations. We can solidify underneath there. We can also mirror. So this is the thing. Mirror is always kind of a magic, magical for me, especially with mesh. We can, you know, merge things together like that and we start to get some kind of abstract looking result. I really quite like this, see? And we are just, you know, just randomly playing around with this, with the, with the text. Oh, we have two seeds there. Oh yeah, I don't like that two seed. Let's get rid of one. We only need one seed. Yeah, like that. Okay, so yeah, this is what I was talking about. Uh, with any with letter, right? You can you can make this kind of abstract thing very very quickly. It's not a it's not a secret. Here we are just using the icosphere itself. So there is some kind of uh, something that's uh, a little bit of permanent because the, the number of points is the same in this case we are using icosphere so of course we can go back to the point distribute yeah this one is going to be more abstract I think okay so this is not bad I quite like this as well there it's a I don't know it's a it's abstract looking but I think kind of nice this guy have different seed right remember we can I think we can always randomize each one of them just very very quickly we get a different design 
and you're not limited to just one type this if you follow what I'm doing here try using different uh, different letter different typeface 3d font um, and you're gonna get different result I think this is pretty cool and if you find the one you like like this this guy that looks like samurai monster or something you can remesh it's kind of arty but you can always you can always sculpt it you know there's a lot of tricks you, you can do I'm using displacement if you displace you can also remesh once once one time but yeah it's it totally totally up to you but there you go that's how I created this uh, totem kind of artwork um, give it a try yourself let's see what you can come out with so there you go yeah hopefully you find this interesting thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye